Unit 7, Lesson 4, Homework. Approximate the area of a disk of radius 2 using an inscribed regular hexagon. So we know that the area is equal to the perimeter times the height divided in half. We know that the perimeter of the hexagon is 6s times h over 2. We know that the length of the side is 2. And then that the height is a radical 3, also divided by 2. So I could cancel out the 2's, in which case I get 6 radical 3. So that's the approximation. Number 2. Approximate the area of a disk of a radius 2 using a circumscribed regular hexagon. So we have 6 equilateral triangles, where the altitude is equal in length to the radius of the circle. So in this case, um, we're going to draw our radius. It's going to extend from the center of the circle to a point on the circle. We can't use the sides of the equilateral triangle because they extend beyond the circle. We have a right angle that's created. So we've divided this into two congruent right triangles, and it also um, divides the opposite side into two congruent parts. We have a 60 degree angle here, because equilateral triangles divide up into three equal angles of 60 degrees, and um, it also bisects this angle, so we have a 30 degree angle. So this is a special right triangle, and we're able to use the ratio of sides of um, all the angles of 30, 60, 90. So just to refresh your memory, I'm going to draw a special right triangles over here with regard to their sides. So up here is the 30, if you can tell what that is. Down at the bottom is the 60, and then I also have the 90 degree indicated by the box. So we always start with the side that's opposite the 30. That's always x. Opposite the 60 is x radical 3. And opposite the right angle, which is the hypotenuse, is always double whatever the side length is opposite the 30. So since we are given a radius of 2, so this is the value of the altitude as well, I'm going to set that equal to x radical 3 because that's the side that's opposite the 60. I'm going to divide out the radical 3 in order to solve for x. And we're going to have to um, rationalize the denominator. Can't have a radical in the denominator. And we get 2 radical 3 all over 3. So that's the value of the side opposite the 30, which is down here. As far as the equilateral triangle as a whole is concerned, I'm going to write 2 radical 3 over 3 because that is going to be the value, I'm going to add that, of this whole entire length of the triangle, or the equilateral triangle. So I have six sides I need to write as the perimeter. So that's 6 times... 4 radical 3 all over 3 times the height of 2 divided by 2. This cancels out to be 1, so I get, actually I can take the 3 and divide it into the 6 2 times, so 2 times 4 is 8 radical 3. So that's the approximation for the area of this 
disk. Based on the areas of the inscribed and circumscribed hexagons, what is an approximate area of the given disk? So if you remember back to the inequalities, we know that the area of the inscribed hexagon is less than the actual area of the disk, which is less than the area of the circumscribed hexagon. So based on the areas that we do have, or we have just found, we're able to find the average of them. So 6 radical 3 plus 8 radical 3, and divide by 2, in which we get 14 radical 3, Simplif divided by 2, simplify the 2 and the 14, and we get 7 radical 3 as our final answer. And number 4, what is the area of the disk by the area formula, and how does your approximation compare? So we know that a circle area formula is equal to pi r squared. That's equal to 4 pi. And if you approximate that, we get 12.56. And if you put in your calculator 7 radical 3, that's approximately equal to 12.12. .12. So it's really close.